Hi everyone, it's Jimmy from Midwest Shred Logs. Before the video starts, I want to give a big shout out to Jonathan at Ageless Snow and Skate. So he's got a new YouTube channel um, and uh, he, he does the same modification. So the idea to do this mod lever modification came from a couple of viewers uh, that left comments in the last uh, videos that I made. And, uh, and so I got the idea from them. But, uh, but I did do a search to see if anybody had done this video and Jonathan had, had, had done this video about two weeks ago. Um, and again, his name, his YouTube channel is called Ageless Snow and Skate. So do me a favor, if you're watching this video, make sure that you go uh, uh, watch his video too. I'm gonna link it in the description. Uh, and please give him a like and please subscribe to his channel. He's just starting his YouTube channel. And believe me guys, it's not easy to, do, to, to, make one, to start one of these channels. So give him some love. He also has like a, a nice story there too about why it is that he did the, the, the lever modification. And so check it out, it's, it's really good. He seems like a really cool guy. And at the end of the day, we're all snowboarders, snowboarders. we all have to take care of each other. Um, I'm also gonna link, um, put a link in the description for the thread locker that I used. So I'll put two links, one for Loctite and one for Permatex. Just make sure when you buy it, get the blue kind. Um, the one that I used, I got it at my local automotive store and it's a Permatex. It cost me about $2.50. Um, if I were you, I would get the, the one that's like five or six dollars because it brings extra. The one that I bought is perfect for four screws, but if you accidentally drip too much out, um, you're not going to have enough for all four screws. But uh, you know, if you guys want to err on the side of safety, which is good, make sure that you put that on the screws when you reinstall them and you're going to be good to go. All right, thanks guys. Enjoy the video. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jimmy from Midwest Shed Vlogs. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial uh, with these burn step-on bindings. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be moving this release lever from the outside to the inside. So a couple of viewers left comments in my previous videos and they said that they love that, that, they love that modification. Uh, they said that it's easier and faster to reach the, the lever from the inside. Um, and I've also gotten a comment in my previous videos from people that, that were a little concerned that as they're going up the, the, the chairlift, that somebody can accidentally hit the, the release lever, and it could cause the board the board to um, to uh, to come out uh, the binding the boot to come out of the binding, and they're concerned that they can lose the board. So I can tell you right now that I've never come close to that happening. But moving it to the inside, if you're that worried, um, this will will help. So um, so what we're gonna do is first um, uh, let me give credit to the guys that that gave me that the idea to do this. So the first one is Eskimo S. Uh, he's a newer rider and he said that he loves this modification. Uh, Tony Leach is the other guy. He said uh, to get out of the bindings easier, move the release clips so that, that the levers are on the inside and not the outside. Um, and then he said it's made his life a lot easier. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And uh, before we get started, I'm gonna just tell you what you need to do this modification. And it's simple, all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. So you can use a regular normal Phillips screwdriver or one of the, the snowboard tools that you, get, you can get. If you don't know which is the Phillips uh, head, it's the one with the cross, not the flat one, but the one with the cross. So it looks just like that. The other thing that's optional, it's optional, you don't need it, but is, uh, is the, the blue uh, thread locker. So a lot of these screws that come on bindings, they already come with the blue thread locker on them. Um, if you're concerned that you know you don't want your screws to get loose or, or anything like that, you can buy this at your uh, local automotive store or even your home your local home improvement store. I bought this at AutoZone, uh, one of the automotive stores by my house, and it was two dollars and fifty cents. So that's optional. Uh, but it's up to you if you want to use it. Um, and so, so um, if you're uh, watching this video and you're new to, to the channel and you're new to the whole burn step on thing, what it is is uh, burn snowboards came up with uh, this strapless binding system. So your traditional bindings, um, boots and bindings, what they do is what they bring is, uh, is a, uh, like these two straps. One's a toe strap and one's an ankle strap. So every time you come down the hill or the mountain, you have to unstrap, you have to release these, and then you, 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 you take your boot out, and then you walk to the, to the lift. When you go up the lift, and you get off the lift, and you're at the top of the mountain, to get going again, you have to put the boot in again, and then you have to tighten these up. So you have to ratchet those, and get them tight. 
So a strap system, it works awesome. Um, I, I, I love straps still to this day, um, but um, I'm trying out this, this new burn step on thing and uh, man, I love it. Uh, I was a doubter in the beginning and uh, now uh, it, they definitely burn, definitely proved me wrong. So these things work really good. They're awesome to carve with and they just, they're very convenient, very fast to use. So uh, we've been making videos uh, about these step-ons and uh, we've kind of built a little community where we answer all these questions that people have and it's, it's been a lot of fun. So I'm gonna show you guys how to, do, how, how, how to do this modification and I'm just gonna show you the people that don't know how these work, just how it works really quick before we get started. So on the step-on burn step-on binding, there's no straps and the boot has a rear cleat and these two cleats in the front. So all you do when you get to the, to the top of the hill you just slide the rear cleat in, one click there, another click in the back. Now these two have to go in, one there, and then press this one down. And it's that simple, you're locked in. So it's, it's, very, it's, it's very secure, works really awesome. When you're done, when you go to the bottom of the hill and you need to get out, all you do is you pull this lever up, and then you, you bring your, your boot out, and then you're out. It's that simple. So it works really awesome, especially here in the Midwest where we have really short runs. We're just in and out, in and out all the time. Works really good and I use it in the park and I use it to just uh, all over the mountain and it, all over the, our hills and it works really awesome. So instead of reaching to the outside to get it, now you're going to reach on the inside. So I'm going to show you how that works. So if you already have your step-on bindings installed on your board, you don't have to remove them. For the purpose of this video, I did remove one binding. That way I can show you which screws you have to remove. So all we're doing is we're gonna remove this screw here, this big screw out here, and this inside screw right here. And all you do is you have two screws and two nuts on the inside. Um, you just have to loosen those and then we're gonna release this high back. So let's do that. And like I said, you don't need to use a snowboard screwdriver. You can use a regular Phillips head uh, screwdriver that you have at home. So we'll release this one. And as you're unscrewing, what, what you should do is just hold that, that nut on the inside like that, hold it in place, because if you look closely, that nut has a little square head on it. Um, and if, you, if you're not holding it while you're unscrewing, that nut will, will start spinning from the inside. So just hold it from the inside, put a finger there, hold it in like that as you're unscrewing, and it's gonna loosen very, very easily. When you wanna get it out, all you have to do is kinda just tilt it and let, let that, little, that little nut drop. So there it is, and that's what it looks like. So that's one side, let's do the other side. And this is a very quick modification and it works really good. So okay, so the next screw is out. Let's drop this little nut to the bottom. And there it is. So we have two. Now this this once you release the you, you get rid of those two screws, this thing just comes out like that. Uh, the only thing holding this, there's two pieces here. What we want to do is we want to release this bottom piece from this top piece, and we're going to just move this piece to the other side, to the other binding. Uh, this is just held in place. There's a little stud right here in this little top hole, and there's one on this side. All you do is kind of just squeeze this in a little bit, squeeze it in a little bit, release one side, and then the other side will just come out. And that's that little stud that goes in that little hole. So we're gonna keep this right side high back on this side, and we're gonna move this, this right side mechanism to that side there. All right, so I'm gonna release this one here. Remember to hold that, screw, that nut in so it doesn't spin on you. Ooh.
one screw there. Sure you don't lose those knots. All right, so we got that one there. I'll pick up this knot here, put it here, and then we're gonna grab this one from the inside so we don't drop that one. And then now that high back comes out. So just like that other side, all you do is uh, squeeze this a little bit so you can get that 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 stud loose there. And then now this will come out. So we're gonna keep this left side binding on this side. And then we're going to move this mechanism to the right side. And that's how we're going to do it. That's how it's going to stay in the, in the inside now. So, you know, when I first heard about this, I thought, hey, maybe this isn't going to line up. But it, it does. It does. So all you want to do now is you want to get that, this little stud, you want to get this little stud in right here into this very top hole here. And just do one side at a time. So I'm gonna get that little stud into that hole first. We're in there. Now this, this outer piece, just squeeze it in a little bit and, it's, and get it lined up and now it's in. So it's that simple and it's perfectly lined up and that's how it works. So now we're gonna just do the opposite. We're gonna install the screws on, on this side and, and that's it. So we have to do both sides. All right, and if you're gonna use Loctite, the thread locker, uh, just put it on the screws and you can see that the that burn comes with it already like they put it on before they install them for you but if you're going to use it just put it on both screws just put a little dab on it on both screws get it out here it's very liquidy there it is it doesn't like to come out but when it does a lot of it comes out I'm gonna put it on that one. All right, there's that one. And don't let it get on your board because it's a little, it's not, it's, it's not too bad, but it's, it's, it can get a little sticky or hard, so. All right, so we're gonna do the opposite. Let's install this one here. Let's put the nut on the inside first. Match it up to the hole. And, uh, and start putting the first screw in. When you're tightening stuff, try to put stuff, uh, get, it, get it started first, and then get the other one started. Don't tighten just one side all the way. You want, when you tighten stuff, you wanna do things kind of even, so. It's not, if it, that nut you're putting it in and it's not lining up, just look on the outside and kind of match it up to the hole. There it is. Now put this nut, this screw in. Let's get that one started. All right, when you're tightening, same thing. Hold the inside nut in. Hold that inside nut so that it doesn't spin on you. And then start tightening that screw. Okay, let's get that one. It's not tightened all the way. Let's get this one going. All right, get that one a little tight. This one, let's tighten this one. Let's get it going. Okay, that's nice and tight. Double check this one. Okay, and there you go. So now we have the release lever on the inside. Now let's do it to the other side. All right, let's put the little stud, this little stud into this top piece, this top hole. Just put one in at a time. Move this one. Let's see, let's line it up. Can't see there, there it is. All right, so one is in. Now squeeze this one a little bit and get this one in. 
And there you go. So another piece is, is together. This one we have over here. All right, let's put this high back back in. Dope. All right, let's line this up. Luckily, this didn't fall here. All right, let's start screwing one side in. All right, let's get this one going on the inside over here. Just spin it if it doesn't line up, that nut doesn't line up, and take a look at it from the outside, and there you go. That nut should, should look like that. So the plastic piece on the binding has a square area, and that nut has a square area, and they match up. So hold it in, it doesn't spin on you. Just start installing this screw on this one. Don't tighten it all the way. And just remember to put that thread locker if you're gonna use it. For me, I'm not too concerned about it. Usually these things kind of stay in place. But, uh, but if you're concerned about it, just make sure that you put that thread locker on there. And when you put it on there, it's very liquidy, but uh, over, it, over time it dries up and it, get, and it hardens. So and it, it stops that screw from coming out. So make sure that you do that if you're concerned about that. Just double check both your, all four screws on these bindings uh, before you even go out and ride. Just make sure they're nice and tight. All right, and there you go. So now we have two bindings with the lever on the inside. And that's what the viewers are saying. That's what people are saying, that it's just easier for, for them to release it. It's easier and faster. So let's try it out. All right, so. Rear cleat's gonna go in first. One click, two clicks. All right, let's get the cleats in. One in, then let's get this one in. There you go. And so that's nice. It's it's nice and snug in there. It fits perfectly. Now let's see if the release lever works. There we go. Stays up. And there you go, guys. It works perfect. So it's a very fast modification. As you can see, I didn't pause the video at all. Um, I didn't pause the recording at all. I just did it straightforward for you guys. I hope this mod, if you guys, uh, I hope you guys, some of you guys give it a try. Um, if, if you think it's gonna make your life a lot easier. Um, and thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions about this modification, just leave it in the comments. If you have any questions about the step-ons, also leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. There's also other viewers that, that uh, will help answer the questions too. We have a lot of knowledgeable people on the like, um, leaving comments too. So it's becoming a cool community. Um, if you like this video, please give me a like and please share it with other people. Uh, I have about 700 subscribers. I'm trying to reach that 1000 mark um, and I'm not doing it for the money. The only reward I get from this is to, to help you guys and just to uh, get, you know, get these out there uh, for more people to try out because they're, they're a blast to ride. Um, I love, like I said, I love strap bindings. Man, but I love these things. These things are cool. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.